It's a busy morning at this Pile clinic where medical staff keep their skills sharp, treating an array of patients' ailments. But Sister Orlene Morris is more skilled than most. She's been trained in PAC, the practical approach to care kit. I have been studying at the back in camps. Right through to the front. It's a step-by-step -step flow chart that was developed in South Africa. I exclude TB, there's nothing, then it can just be a mechanical back pain will be your diagnosis. But It empowers nurses to prescribe a wider range of medicine and removes any doubt by making it clear when a doctor should step in. Yes, you feel like you're in control of your patient. Yeah, because the pack exactly says where to go and what you have to do. The first pack was developed five years ago by Dr. Ruth Cornick's team at the Knowledge Translation Unit in Cape Town. It's updated every year with the latest World Perception. Health Organization guidelines and has been adapted for several countries, including Brazil and Nigeria. Most guidelines are disease-based guidelines, so there'll be an HIV guideline or a TB guideline or a diabetes guideline. But then if somebody comes into a clinic and they've got a sore toe and, a, and an itch and abdominal pain, um, <laughs> which guidelines should the clinician pick up? So what PAC does, which is a little different, is it integrates all those guidelines together. Although Dr. Cornick says the program could be useful in developed countries too, it's likely to have the biggest impact in places like South Africa, where resources and medical staff are stretched. There are only 56 doctors per 100,000 people in South Africa, with at least twice as many nurses as there are doctors. So by giving the nurses more powers, that means the doctors should have more time to spend with patients who really need to see them. And that means more efficient, quality health care where it's needed most. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, PAL, South Africa. <laughs>